Okay, how does this look? Hi everyone, my name is Karina and um, today I am going to show you around my apartment. One of my apartments, I have been moving a lot in my life. Don't ask me why, I will tell you in my future videos. And I'm about to leave this apartment as well uh, next week. And um, right before I do, I wanted to pay it or her this um, tribute because it's a beautiful place and if I didn't have to move for a very wonderful reason that I will tell you later, then I wouldn't because I love it here. It's open space studio, there are no doors. I hate doors, I think I'm like a cat. No doors can be closed, otherwise I'll be like meow, 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 and then when it's open, I'll walk away. So there are no doors, it's all open, it's all white. Um, there is quite a lot of light, even though I, I could take more light. And my favorite part is the huge movie theater that I have set up here. I've never owned a TV in my entire life. Uh, but the best thing, the best $200 I spent probably was on the projector, which I have wanted for years. And um, just in this apartment I finally got it because this is a huge space with tons of white walls. So, oh shit, you probably can't read all the titles of my books, I'm so nervous right now. Don't zoom in, don't zoom in, don't zoom in. Okay, so what I wanted to say is, um, okay, yeah. And I thought, oh, that would be so cool to show you the before and after. So, here we go, let's start from the before. The day I move in here. I'll show you a little tour of my new apartment. And uh, I'll start from the backyard view. And I can't stress enough that if you look really, really closely, you can see the lake. Which is amazing. And the bike trail is right there. Which makes me very, very, very happy. So this is the back entrance. So right here when you enter there is this free space. I don't know yet how I'm gonna use this room. Probably a guest room. I think so, yeah. And it has a closet of its own. So yes everyone, please come visit. And from this window again if you look really close you can see the lake which is fantastic. Now going back, here is the kitchen. Full-size refrigerator makes me very happy. An oven. Everything is here. Looking good and um, a beautiful windowsill where I can put the basil and the mint and anything I want to grow. Here's the bathroom. Here it is, my uh, um, sink and such, toilet, and of course the bathtub. I will not rent a place without a bathtub. Hi baby! Here we go, those are my boxes, nothing is unpacked. The bedroom area and the living room and office over there. Here is another closet. This is my favorite area in the house and I will get to it in a second. First I'll show you a third closet. And guess what? It is actually the fourth because there is another closet inside the closet. Which I like to think of as a sauna because it's all made of wood. I think I'll put the couch to that wall and then I want to get a projector and project movies over here. Isn't that going to be great? This is a bookcase where I normally keep my burlesque costumes and I use it as a standing desk right now. It is a perfect height. So I can use my computer here and stare out the window and sometimes I see a cat chasing a butterfly and that cracks me up. And here's another entrance. Double doors to my very own porch which I still can't believe that I have. Here it is, where I can plant all the flowers and have all the porch life that I want. Here we go. All right. Thanks. Thanks everyone and I can't wait to unpack and decorate and show you the final result. Who else can be so glamorous in sweat? Look at this. I'm a burlesque performer, as you can tell. Anyway, back to the business. Let's check out the after footage. Hot, fresh from the kitchen. Uh, let's look here first out of the window. Here's our beautiful um, 
what is it, New England winter, and there's a Lake Champlain right over there, my baby, and the mountains that you cannot see. So here's my apartment, I'm about to move, and I wanted to give you a quick tour right before I start taking out my decorations, which I will tell you about. So you enter, and here on the left, there is this beautiful space, which um, was kind of uh, recommended to use as a dining room, but I was like, come on. I live alone, I don't need a dining room, so I use it as a guest room and everyone is happy. It also has its own um, closet that I will show you. But the best part is I found out about having a guest room in your house is that finally I found space for all the, you know, Korean libido posters and photographs that I had lying around. You know how you make, you have a photo shoot with a photographer and then they print out these big ass prints for you and they give them to you and the first 10 times or 15 you're really happy and after that you're like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do with all these pictures of myself? I don't want to like stare at them all day. So instead I make my guests stare at them now and actually they're very happy. Everyone says they sleep very well. So here is a little you know, sneak peek for you here. This is like my favorite poster. I have no idea. I just saw it at the event and I was on it. I was so happy. Here we go. That's the very first illustration of me by Adriano, an amazing artist in New York City. Well, those are beautiful outlets, piece of work. And uh, here is my New York School of Burlesque diploma for Associate Ecdesiast. Google it if you don't know what Ecdesiast means. It's fascinating. And um, here are some other show posters. San Francisco, New York City, Philadelphia. Here we go. Oh, and the closet. I want to show you the closet because here is where I hide my out of... I'm gonna turn the light on. My out of um, season jackets, which I do have way too many of. I need to declutter, but I love them so much, so much. I love every each of them. So it's hard when you get to that point. And these are my more or less gowns. A lot of them will be out for sale soon because, come on, if, if you don't use them for acts performing anymore, I mean, where on earth... Am I gonna wear them here in New England, you know, in New York City maybe, but... Oh, it's so beautiful! They are all so gorgeous! Well, stay tuned, I will be posting my a lot of my costumes for sale soon, if not yet. Alright, so let's move on. Here is the entryway area. Normally it's like a tons of jackets, but now it's winter, so I only have uh, two coats. And um, a selection of shoes over there. And that's me, hi! And here we're gonna enter the kitchen area. This is one of my favorite, you know, uh, posters that I have hanging out because it has me, the picture of me, on the cover of the New York Times travel section back from 2015. That was my very, very first gig and uh, I got right on the cover of New York Times. Um, I was gigging as a secret girl on one of the Shanghai Mermaid events. And here is the pair of my very, very first tassels that I literally have done I mean, at least a hundred shows wearing those. And then I upgraded them and I decided to give this pair, you know, the eternal life here on my wall. I love this piece, love, love, love it. My kitchen and uh, yeah, here's my vibrator drying, so let's just pass on my, you know, Nutribullet, my toys. La 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 la. Plants, oh, this is funny because I thought, oh, well, now that I left New York City and moved to New England, you know, oh, I'm gonna be a plant person now. Well, look how great that turned out. You can see all stages of that here. Okay, let's move on. So, this is important. I can only please one person per day. Today I choose me. And drink coffee, do stupid things faster with more energy. Those are basically my two mottos in life. This is how I operate and you know what? It works pretty awesome. All right, bathroom, this is important. My Some of my male friends refuse or at least hesitate to go in it because of the sign, which kind of makes me happy. All right, so here's my very minimal bathroom. Not much going on here. I did have a very sick um, printout here, but I took it down because we have apartment viewings and I don't want to freak anybody out, but uh, you will see that in my new bathroom. That's every, every place I live in. Um, I always have that that decor in my bathroom it's sick and awesome all right and here is my bathtub and bath bowl that I use as a shelf when I'm not bathtubbing and the seahorse that I found one day on New Jersey Shore and I believe she brings me luck I love seahorses by the way as you can tell love seahorses all right okay here we go back to the kitchen through the kitchen into the main living room area I love 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 this place it's already getting dark so I'm gonna turn on the lights 
and I love it. This apartment is called a studio, but honestly, it's like the size of a three or four bedroom apartment if you're talking New York City. So here's the, my couch that turns into a wonderful bed at night. I don't use a bed. I love this couch. Uh, I bought it from, this is Ikea couch that I bought from my dear, dear friends in New York City and it traveled with me and um, I don't want to let it go, I love it. And here is some um, uh, posters, photographs of um, burlesque legends signed by them for me in Las Vegas. And here's another collage that I made. And here is uh, my closet that we probably should close because I still want to pretend like I'm a minimalist. I don't have a minimalist closet. I need to declutter, but I love those things so much and I do wear them all. And here are some paintings of me when I used to be an art model in New York City. And here is a painting of my great friend, Anna, who lives in LA. And I can link it down below. She's a great artist and I edit here a photo of me holding a green card for the first time because the color scheme is just the same. I love it. And here is my witchcraft table. All kinds of things here. You can see here my crystals and uh, these things and sage and um, candles and some inspirational things and uh, stuff like that. My water, my water with apple cider vinegar, my water with essential oils, more essential oils here, uh, my tarot cards. They're not actually tarot but what are they called? Goddess cards or something like that. And I have a, this um, coloring book with unicorns. It's so amazing. It's from the Hay House. I love it. It also comes with the audiobook so you can color and listen to the stories with unicorns. It's fascinating. Oh shit, it's like folded, wrinkled now. And my coloring things. And this is the whole box of the sex toys that I'm not going to show you right now. This is not that kind of video, but yeah, it's a whole box. All right, and moving on. Yes, this is my couch. This is, you know, where the magic happens. I do all my research here, work on my computer here most of the time. This is my breakfast that definitely got cold already while I was trying to film this video. Uh, well, it's only 3 p.m., so <laughs> I'm having breakfast. I've had a very busy couple of months late. I love this clock, by the way. Uh, recently, and um, today is my first day off when I'm at home alone in since, like, November, and it's end of January now, so I deserve having breakfast at 3pm. This is my jewelry thing, another seahorse that I was given, so cute, love this stuff. Some stuff I have to take care of. What is this? <laughs> no, it's just um, my fake eyelashes. I had a show last night. As you can see, this is the reality of burlesque performer, a glamorous pile of shit on the floor. Um, yeah, this will get back to today. Uh, but I needed to film this. Here we go, moving on, moving on, moving on. Over there I have a closet area, um, which is, you know, just like this. And here's another closet inside, and it's dark, I'm not gonna turn on the light. Well, okay, I can. It just has boxes ready to move, because I move a lot, I don't know why. Okay, here's my bicycles, I put them here for winter. My bike, my white mountain bike, and my guest bike, it works pretty great for me. And uh, this is the world map that I would love to mark one day the places where I've been with tiny photos of like the most amazing things that I've done at those places. I will do that. That will be a whole project and I might get a bigger map for that. I will do that at my final apartment wherever I settle down. This is the projector, by the way. I love, love this projector that I use to project movies on this wall. So I normally put it behind the couch over there and it project movies here and me and my friends, we just hang out on the couch and the movie is gigantic. It's like bigger than, I don't know, bigger than a small movie theater that you'd go to. It's fascinating. This is my sweet spot, I call this place. It's good for lounging, cuddling and doing all kinds of fun stuff. However, that carpet here gets in your mouth, so be careful with, you know, fun games. But here are, you know, sparkly pillows that I can play with all day. Oh, this is so fun. Look at this. And my guitar that I should play more often. I bought it recently because I was craving playing guitar and now I don't use it that much. I bought a guitar today, but I don't know how to play. But I guess that's okay. Here's the board that is up for sale. I think I found a um, a buyer for her and here is my bookcase that I also use as a standing desk here uh, this is where I do my job and some more Anna's art beautiful 
I love, love, love. I just stand here all day and look out the window and do my job. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is Anna's Art of a Seahorse, which I love. And my favorite ottoman, I call it royal treatment. I put it here and I sit on that chair and put my feet on the ottoman and I look out the porch and I just count my blessings. So here it is. That's the tour of my apartment. Thank you for being with me and I'll show you the next place whenever I move there, which is probably gonna be very, very, very soon. Bye apartment, I loved you. I had so much fun here. I kinda miss you. Okay, we have eight seconds left, seven, six, five, So this is royal treatment. Ta -da! I found it on the dumpster in New York City and it's very dear to my heart. I love it so much. Ow! Oh, it's so good. It also has a secret pocket. Great for hiding all kinds of things. You know what I mean. I'm not gonna show you that. So that was the apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I am uh, trying to live more and more minimal every day and with every move and actually I should declutter right this week before I move again. That's a great idea. Maybe I'll let you join me on that little journey. And uh, I will be, like I said, moving very soon to a new place. I will tell you why. Stay tuned to find out why and where I will be moving. But the funnest part about that is that I will be remodeling that place all by myself and I will be uh, painting the kitchen cabinets, the walls and tearing down the floors and putting the new floors in, well at least that's the plan, and you can watch me fail glamorously on my next videos on this brand new Karina Lee YouTube channel.